So I created a simple view of uh, the UK politics for people who are not aware um, and also my opinion of who to vote for. This is just based on uh, my understanding of the policies of these parties and uh, where I stand. And uh, so let's just look at the, the, the main parties. There are seven political parties or main political parties in UK, uh, excluding DUP, which is standing in Northern Ireland. So Conservatives, Labour and uh, Liberal Democrats are the main parties. And we have SNP, Plaid Simru, Green Party and uh, Brexit Party. So SNP is in uh, is a Scotland uh, National Party, Scottish National Party. Plaid Simru is the party in Wales, main party in Wales. And Green Party was created for mainly for climate changes and Brexit Party was created by Nigel Farage for specifically for Brexit. Um, so, it, you know, it's it's it was created with just one agenda in mind. And so we're not going to discuss about the uh, smaller parties. But um, it is it is important to note that Plaid Simru and Green Party have a pact with the Liberal Democrats. Uh, specifically on Brexit that they all want to cancel Brexit. So there's a there's a pro remain uh, pact between these parties. So if um, they, they don't stand against each other in many uh, constituencies, the leaders are for conservatives, uh, as we know, Boris Johnson is a leader and he's a current prime minister. Um, for Labour, it's Jeremy Corbyn, who's uh, been the leader for a few years now. And for Liberal Democrats, it's Joe Swinson. If you hear them speak in a debate, uh, you will clearly see that Joe Swinson is is way better than uh, Boris Johnson or Jeremy Corbyn in terms of maturity and her uh, level of leadership. And she uh, is, is a clear leader um, in terms of her personality as well uh, between these three people, just on a, a personality basis. Um, in the last 20 years, um, UK has been real, ruled by uh, Labour for about 13 years. In the last seven years, uh, seven to eight years, uh, it's been ruled by uh, a conservative government. So from 1997 to 2007, it was Tony Blair, and it was Gordon Brown. Then we had a, 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 a coalition party, and now it is conservative party. So the main parties, what do they stand for? Uh, from Brexit perspective, conservative want to force Brexit again possibly put uncertainty and, um, you know, uh, a no deal Brexit. Labour Party want to negotiate a new deal, bring another referendum. They have a no clear stand. Liberal Democrats are very clear. They want to cancel Brexit and just move forward as a country. And in fact, um, the most clear stand on Brexit is from Labour Party and their coalition. From a tax perspective, Conservatives are proposing probably one of the best um, policies. They are proposing no tax changes but they're probably going to borrow more to compensate. Labour are proposing a draconian increase in taxes again. And uh, they were the ones who brought 60% tax last time they were in power uh, for people earning more than 100,000. Uh, they're basically taxing hardworking people. Liberal Democrats are a bit moderate. They're going to increase the taxes by probably 1% is what their policy says. Um, so you have to take uh, the Lib Dem policy with a pinch of salt here. Um, but it's point to note that uh, who our labor calls us the high earners. They are actually the hardworking people who have got to that point of 100,000 after probably about 20 or 30 years of hard work. And they're not people who are just earning 100,000 just out of college or just out of, you know, three, four years of work. They have got there out of sheer hard work. Uh, from an education perspective, conservatives are saying that they'll review the interest rates on student loans. Um, Labour government are saying that they're going to scrap the university fees regardless of intent to work, which means um, even if a person has no intent to work, they are they want to get that person into university and probably waste a seat, which could have gone to another person who really wanted to study and really wanted to work. Um, the Liberal Democrats are basically saying that uh, they're going to hire uh, more teachers and um, you know they're going to bring free healthcare from nine months onwards, which is currently sitting at uh, more than three years. So this is going to be a huge benefit for parents. From an immigration perspective, conservatives want to um, give the same, give benefits to EU migrants only after five years. This is a very important policy. If this is brought in, uh, the EU migration will automatically die down because people won't get benefit from day one after they come into the country. They're also going to have a fast track visa. Um, Labour government and uh, Liberal government are both, Liberal Democrats are both promising to scrap the minimal income requirements for uh, bringing dependents in, which is currently a bit uh, draconian, I should say, or impassionate, I should say. So apart from that, um, I think 
conservatives are a clear leader in that one um from a healthcare perspective conservatives are promising to deliver 50000 nurses all the bbc uh, and news reports say that they don't have even though it's in the manifesto they don't have a clear plan uh, to bring anywhere closer to that number so it seems to be a false promise labor government again promising something controversial free dental checkups currently it's only about 22 pounds for a dental checkup in nhs so even abolishing that i think it's going to put a big burden on nhs or or the healthcare which is already struggling to meet it so from a policy perspective the the clear winners uh, on on each of these points are from tax perspective it's conservative although lib dems are a very close second because they are only increasing it by 1% um brexit education and uh, healthcare i think lib dems are are way ahead uh, in terms of their counterparts from what they are promising and more realistic in terms of what they are promising immigration perspective um the policies that the conservatives are planning to bring up probably more um viable and uh, that will probably reduce the benefits and increase the economy as well on a whole um so overall lib dems are a, a winner but uh, conservatives are probably going to win more seats for sure but voting for a lib dem and bringing uh, or bringing back a scenario like 2010 where they would be a coalition to any government would actually make a lot of sense in this election is what i believe thank you